Dear colleagues, today I did three cases of intumescent cataracts one by one. This is the first case. I do capsulorexis of intumescent cataracts using only HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as the viscoelastic substance and no other viscoelastic substance is used in my cases. This is the first case. The capsule is being stained by this time with tripan blue dye after making all the incisions and injecting an air bubble in the anterior chamber. Now the dye is washed out. This is tripan blue 0 0.06 percent dye. Now HPMC is injected into the anterior chamber. Here it is. Now a 26 gauge bent needle is taken and as I puncture the anterior pole, see what happens. Lot of fluid comes out. It indicates that the intralenticular pressure was very high. Some fluid is expressed out, depressing the posterior leap of the main incision and then a very small rexis is made. That's it. Now, through this small rexis, that is this mini rexis, what I do is I aspirate some peripheral cortical lens matter. You can see the nucleus is rotating. I rotate the nucleus and aspirate some cortical matter from all around. Lot of cortical matter need not be aspirated. Some amount of aspiration, some amount of cortical matter, if aspirated, the intralenticular pressure reduces drastically and we can do, we can enlarge this rexis very comfortably. Here it is. Now I give a small nick, a small cut at the margin of this mini rexis, take a uterator forceps and enlarge this rexis into an optimum sized one. That's it. The rexis is done. And now, second case. This is the main incision with 2.8 millimeter keratom. You can see the anterior capsule is taut and convex and protruding towards the corneal endothelium. It means there is lot of raised intralenticular pressure. The anterior capsule is stained with tripan blue dye. And now the dye is washed out. Again, viscoelastic substance that is HPMC is injected and the antechamber is filled off with HPMC. If you have cohesive viscoelastic substance, it is fine, but it is not necessary. Now I incise the capsule and in this case a little bit of oily fluid comes out. It means the intralenticular pressure is raised but not much as the previous case. Now this is a mini rexis and through this small opening I introduce a Simco cannula and aspirate some cortical lens matter. I squeeze the lens matter and try to push it from the equatorial region to the rexis site. That's it. Lot of cortical matter 
need not be aspirated. If we aspirate some amount of cortical matter, that is fine. In this case, I could not remove much cortical lens matter. But see how I can enlarge this rexis. Visco SPMC has been injected. Now this is a small cut. And as I obtain to give the cut, it has been a continuous thing. So I take and I give another cut. And now this I can cool this tag and enlarge this rexis. I try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I get a round axis in most of my cases. And this is the third and final case. Main incision and this is the side port incision and this is another side port incision. All the incisions have been made without injecting any viscoelastic substance or now type 1 blue dye is injected. Beginners can make a side port, stain the dye, inject visco through the side port and then they can make the main incision and after making the main incision you puncture you incise the anterior capsule at the anterior pole of the cataractus lens here it is and see moderate amount of oily fluid comes out indicating that in this case the intracular pressure intralenticular pressure was raised moderately and now again some peripheral cortical lens matter is aspirated through this small rexis and if we can reduce the intralenticular pressure by aspirating some cortical lens matter, we have tamed this challenging intumescent cataract. SPMC has been injected, and a vana scissor is taken, a small cut is made at the margin of this rexis, uteta forceps is taken, this small tag is held and the capsule is enlarged to an optimum sized one. <coughs> That's it. Thank you very much for your attention.